What's happening? Welcome to Everything Explained here at Electro Voice. I'm your host, Corey Wong, here again with engineer extraordinaire, Ethan Wetzel. Today, our topic is gain staging. How is it different than volume? What is it in general? Seems to be a little bit elusive to some people. For those of you that are recording engineers and live sound engineers, we want to just clear up a couple things to just let you know the difference and how and why you should care about those things. So first off, a kind of simple way of talking about gain staging is that you are basically optimizing the volume to noise ratio at every step along the way in your processing. Starting with the input source, are you getting the appropriate amount of volume that's not clipping and that isn't so low that you also have a lot of noise? Sometimes a guitar signal is really low coming in, so you hear a little bit of hiss or a little bit of hum or some sort of noise, and the guitar and the noise are a little too close in volume. You turn up the guitar signal, all of a sudden the guitar is way louder than the noise. That ratio is all of a sudden fixed. The noise is really not an issue anymore. The opposite of that, of course, when you have way too much and all of a sudden you get that, (laughs) it's clipping, whatever. And of course... We will get into a little bit of analog versus digital clipping as well. But along every step of the way in your processing, you can do things to change the gain staging, or you can do things to, well, either ruin or fix the gain staging, of course. So that's right. That's just the most simple way. So, I mean, I've seen this so many times where a live, an inexperienced sound engineer in the studio or live, most of the times live, I've seen this where it's like, hey, can we turn up the vocal a little bit? And rather than turning up the volume fader, they go all the way to the gain and they just gain it up. And then it destroys everything after it in the chain because when something's coming in, it goes into that. And then the next part of the process maybe is the EQ. Then it's maybe the compressor. So you've changed the gain. Now that you're changing how the compressor responds to the vocal and everything, rather than just the sound is all how we want it, we just need it louder. Well, that's what your fader is for. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to stop with any version of what might come across as a rant and <laughs> let you do a little more explaining. <laughs> Did I explain that? I mean, that's, that's I, my you, understanding of gain gain staging and gain structure versus volume. Yeah, you, you absolutely nailed it, Corey. All right. I mean, fundamentally, when we're dealing with any kind of audio system, we've got a number of different components that are going into it. You've got your instrument, that's going to feed into a preamp, that's going to feed into a mixer, that's going to feed into an amplifier, on and on and on. Yeah. And every single one of those building blocks along the way is going to have what we technically refer to as a gozenta and a gozauta. And each of those <laughs> is going to have usually the ability to bring up the level, bring down the level. Sure. So when we're talking about gain staging, theoretically what we're trying to achieve is a situation where I've got what's referred to as unity gain through my entire system. And fundamentally what that means is every single point along that signal path will clip at exactly the same time. Mm. That lets us optimize our signal-to-noise ratio, as you say, and get the most performance out of the system and make sure that it's delivering what we need it to. In order to do that, though, what we really need to make sure that we do as audio professionals is understand our equipment well enough so we know where each of those gain stages are. Where am I able to turn things up? Where am I able to turn things down? And where I'm doing that in the signal path could vary depending on what I'm trying to achieve. Your example of turning up the gain for a signal before a compressor and after a compressor is fantastic. You know, something else I see a lot in both live and post-production is when people will ask, where do I stick the EQ relative to the limiter? Well, a limiter, if it's there to be a brick wall and prevent things from getting any louder than they should be, if you place an equalizer after that, well, guess what? If you boost that EQ, you're now completely defeating the purpose of the limiter. So, When we're working with our systems, we need to understand where the gain stages are. 
where I need to be making my adjustments. And one other thing that's really important, particularly when we're getting into complex systems like the kind of stuff you have on stage where I'm yeah. dealing with mic levels, I'm dealing with keyboards, I'm dealing with electronics, I'm dealing with a lot drummers. of different... <laughs> drummers. Yeah, yeah, well, don't get me started on drummers. <laughs> we're weird. Understanding the kinds of signals that they, each one of those pieces of equipment can put out and understanding my terminology as I'm looking at a mixing console is really important. Yeah. Um, where people can get confused is when they look at things like DBU versus DBFS. And in our other conversation about what's a decibel, we dig into that a little bit more about what some yeah. of those phrases mean and where they go. But everything needs to be clear and needs to be adjusted in the right way. So I'm getting to that unity gain stage again, to optimize my noise, optimize my signal and make sure that I'm really letting the music, the music and the signal come out in as clean a way as I possibly can. Yeah. So on the way in, into the preamp, let's get this level at or around unity. Yep. Then we add EQ. Oh, we brighten this thing up a bit. Well, now it's a little bit above unity. So the gain or the, the output volume of the EQ, we maybe pull down a little bit to compensate to That's bring right. it back yep. to or around Unity. Now we put it into a compressor. The compressor is bringing general volume, the all the loud stuff down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Which uh, is where I may use some makeup gain in the compression circuit to bring it back yes, up again. And then you're bringing it back up to at or around unity. That's right. Gain staging is not just on the way in. A lot of times musicians will think gain staging is just setting your gain on the way in and leaving it at that. All the Every way step of the way, you want to get things back up to that level so that way your faders can do their job much better. That's right. And, you know, if a system is set up incorrectly, you know, for example, maybe I've got one of my output stages turned way, way, way down and... I'm going to try to correct that by turning up one of my inputs. Well, you can not only get into a situation where I'm bringing up system noise, but now I can get into a situation that I start to clip one of those input stages. And if we're talking about analog equipment, you know, sometimes that's forgiving. You know, you can get yeah, that. Yeah, it actually has a little that. bit of a sound. It exactly. has something that's sometimes desirable. That's right. Yeah. You get digital clipping going on and that is one of the worst sounds in the world yes and it can really do damage not only to your audience's ears but also your equipment yeah so we really really want to try to avoid that um you know general rule of thumb that i always try to suggest to people is always cut before you boost yep. um, you know particularly when it comes to things like equalization and just make sure that you understand again where is the right gain stage for me to be making my adjustments yeah do it at the fader. Do it at the console. Don't do it at the individual gain stages in most cases unless you're locking it in when you're doing your initial yes. setup. Hopefully that cleared up a few things. I know that originally when I was thinking about gain, it was all about just how it comes on the way in. I wasn't thinking about how it was affected throughout the process. And hopefully this was informational to you. We have a whole series on things explained that I was curious about that I know that many of you are curious about. So stick around for the next episode. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.